I'll be planning in my V3 Wellbeing Planner as well as my V3 Weekly Two Page Spread Planner inserts. So here's the current week of July the 11th to the 17th and now let's get started for the new week. This spread is inspired by this native floral washi tape from Kmart. All product details and links I'll have in the description below. So I lay the washi tape at the top of the page. This planner insert has dotted marking at the top so you can easily line up your washi, stickers or any written headings. I just use a plastic Filofax ruler to cut off the end of the washi nice and straight. To write out the dates of the week I will be using these 4 out of 5 Zebra Mild Liners from the Gentle Colours set. These Zebra Mild Liners are double ended. One side is the chiseled side, while the other is a fine tip side. It's the fine tip side that I'll be using to draw my numbers with. For this morning journal side of my wellbeing planner insert, some of the things I'll write out for each day may include how I feel that morning, my energy level, why I feel that way, what can I do to make myself feel better, and what I'm grateful for. The idea is to carve out a little time of the morning just for you. Check in on yourself, acknowledge your feelings. Don't make any judgement, your feeling or emotions are neither good nor bad. It's a message system. You're feeling that way for a reason. You can then respond to it rather than reacting by giving yourself something to do that will make you feel better for the day. It's a great way to be connected with your emotions intelligently. I find that when I dedicate this time for me, and it normally only takes me two to three minutes, I feel a bit calmer, especially if I'm feeling a bit off that morning, because I'm giving myself a to-do that will help ground me. Now to embellish this part of the page more, I will use the same colours as the date and this time use the chiselled end of the highlighter to highlight each of the lines. To make my numbers pop, I will outline it with my Pentel Energel Cleaner Black Pen which has a 0.5mm needle point refill. If you wanted, you can use the fine tip end of the highlighter to outline each number. It's up to you. At the bottom of the page is where I write down my micro breaks for the day. Micro breaks are those that you should be taking several times a day for one to two minutes that help you reset and it's one of the ways you can prevent burning out. Take scheduled breaks rather than when you are needing it or when you are forced to rest. These include one minute deep breathing, a coffee break, writing something you're grateful for or stretching. Now that page is done. On the other side, on the top of the page, is where I write the date range. Again, using the fine tip end of the Zebra Mild Liners, I write the first three letters of the month and then the date range, alternating between the four gentle colours I'm using. Then I outline it with a black pen. I fill up the empty space with the same washi that I used on the other page, so then it has a nice continuous line. For my 7 areas of focus habit tracker, I will use different coloured zebra mild liners which are the colours I have assigned for my areas of focus. Blue for mental, green for spiritual, purple for family, orange for career, yellow for social, pink for physical, and aqua for finance. Then I write my habits in each line in the order of when I would like to achieve them within the day. So reading or studying, meditating, act of kindness and home maintenance, my side hustle tasks, reaching out to family and friends, working out and tracking my expenses at the end of the day. I then mark out six and a half hours on my sleep tracker as my ideal number of hours of sleep. At the bottom is my other wellness tracker. 
Again, I highlight each line of the tracker with the four different gentle colours alternating between the four of them. The things I track are eating a piece of fruit, trying not to have sugar or junk food, no spend for the day, getting outside, writing in my victory log, my water intake and my step count for the day. Now this well-being planner spread is done. Now if you are finding value in this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Now for my weekly two-page spread, I'll write out the date range at the top. Outline again with black ink and line it with the same washi as the previous page to continue the theme. The bottom left hand side of this spread has a space for you to write out the calendar. It's great if you need to recall the dates of either previous weeks or future dates of that month. For the days of the week and the dates, again I use the gentle colours and the chiselled side to highlight the day's heading. I actually used a different purple or lilac for Monday, but that's okay. Your planning pages does not have to be perfectly matched. Don't worry, through the rest of the week I can guarantee you that you'll write or mark something incorrectly and that's fine. Now I say this because if you're just starting out on your planning journey, you may be critical of your setup at the beginning. I know I was. I would redo some of the pages just because I had written something wrong or there was something on my page that I didn't like. As your planning evolves, it won't matter so much, so don't fret over imperfect things. No one will know, and if you post your planner pages like me on social media, most won't even notice, except for those spelling police. Next, I refer to my July calendar and migrate any tasks, events or appointments that I have for the week and write them down on the top of each column. So bills to pay, payday, saving tasks, scheduled to-dos. This top grid part is also where you would write down your top priority tasks or tasks of the day. Try and keep your priority tasks to just one or two. That way, even if you don't get to do everything you have written down for the day, if you get your top priority completed, then that's a good day. So for the rest of the column, I write down my known tasks. The bottom column is divided into three sections so you can write your morning, afternoon and evening tasks. So for me, it includes my AM routine, my Instagram post schedule, my get things done review checklist, coffee break, cleaning time, side hustle task time, my workout and my PM routine. Now question, who here uses my planner inserts? Let me know by commenting or giving me a hands up emoji in the comments section below. Now for next week our homeschooling starts again on Tuesday, so I do need to write that down on my schedule. Now I will fill in the rest of the week off camera as I can see my battery is running quite low. So there we are, all ready for the new week. Now if you haven't yet subscribed, make sure you do and hit the bell to get notification of new video uploads. Thanks so much for watching, I appreciate you and I'll see you again next time. Bye bye.